2% of global CO2 emissions are produced during the conversion of fossil fuels to ammonia in the so-called Haber-Bosch process. The ammonia is converted into fertilizers, which allow us to feed our global population. Decarbonizing this process would be a major milestone in our effort to stop climate change and prevent its catastrophic consequences. One way to do this is to produce ammonia directly from air and water using electricity from renewable sources such as solar and wind. Before we can scale up this approach, we have to overcome one major challenge, hydrogen evolution. This reaction steals electricity from the ammonia production, making the process less efficient. Suppressing the hydrogen evolution requires a novel electrocatalyst. 100 years of heterogeneous catalysis research showed that one of the best ways to find a new catalyst is to screen a large number of metal alloy compositions in a trial and error fashion. Now, how can we find an electrocatalyst that suppresses hydrogen evolution this way? First, we need a scalable method to produce an array of electrodes of different compositions. Second, we need an electrochemical cell to test a large number of catalysts in parallel and a large enough potential stud to supply all catalysts with electricity. Finally, we need a scalable detection method to measure the amount of ammonia that was produced. At TU Delft, we already have a sputtering system and a potential stud that allow us to produce and test up to 64 metal alloys at the same time without large investment cost. The recently developed scalable NMR detection method for ammonia removes the last remaining bottleneck, making a high throughput screening possible for the first time. Decarbonization is a race against time. With the open mind, we can increase our experimental throughput to get ahead.